Hello and welcome to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song program. The nature of this program is to take a closer look at one of the hymns that has been written to glorify God. The hymn for today's scripture and song is God Himself is with us. The title comes from 2 Chronicles 13 verse 12, where we read, And behold, God Himself is with us for our captain and his priests with sounding trumpets to cry alarm against you. O children of Israel, fight ye not against Jehovah God of your fathers, for ye shall not prosper. There are other verses where we read that God is with his people. For example, Psalm 46 verse 7 says, Jehovah of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. In Isaiah 8 verse 10 we read, Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. Speak the word, and it shall not stand, for God is with us. One of the names of God, Emmanuel, means God with us, as we find in Matthew 1 verse 23, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is, God with us. Throughout the Bible, we read about God being with certain individuals, such as Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Joshua, Gideon, David, Hezekiah, and others. In Acts 7 verse 9 we read, And the patriarchs, moved with envy, sold Joseph into Egypt, but God was with him. Concerning Isaac, we find in Genesis 26 verse 24, And Jehovah appeared unto him the same night, and said, I am the God of Abraham thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee, and will bless thee, and multiply thy seed for my servant Abraham's sake. We see in other verses that we are not to fear because God is with us. We read in Psalm 23 verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Deuteronomy 20 verse 1 says, When thou goest out to battle against thine enemies, and seest horses and chariots, and a people more than thou, be not afraid of them, for Jehovah thy God is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. In Joshua 1 verse 9, God declares, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For Jehovah thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. God is not afar off somewhere. While he is the high and lofty one that inhabits eternity, at the same time he is right here with us, a very present help in trouble. The hymn God himself is with us continues with the words, Let us now adore him. We adore or love God by keeping his commandments as the Lord Jesus declares in John 14, verse 15, If ye love me, keep my commandments. We also read in John 21, after the great catch of fish, which typified the saving of the great multitude during the great tribulation, that following this, which points to the time after May 21, 2011, Jesus asks Peter three times if he loves him, to which Jesus replies, Feed my sheep. Peter is a figure of God's elect, and the three times Peter is told to feed God's lambs or feed God's sheep indicates that it is God's purpose. In our present day of judgment, we love God by keeping his commandments and by feeding sheep in particular, which is God's purpose for us right now. God himself is with us in this work of feeding sheep as we labor together with him. We read in the Bible that God was with Abraham, he was with Joseph, he was with David, and we can be sure since Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, that he is with us at this time. And what a precious promise this is. It is God who works within us to do his will. He causes us to walk in his statutes. We are his workmanship, his chosen vessels to go forth, bearing his reproach, and suffering shame for his name. It is a light affliction, 
and it is our reasonable service to be about our Father's business of feeding God's sheep by assisting in the efforts to declare His word all over the world in whatever way that we can. And now may we go forth, walking through the valley of the shadow of death, fearing no evil, for God is with us. May we not fear man in any way, what he may think of us, because we believe these things that the Bible is declaring. For the Lord is with us. We have nothing to fear at all. As it says in Romans 8, verse 31, If God be for us, who can be against us? Through it all, wherever we may be, we can be certain that God himself is with us. And this will always be so, now in this world, and in the world which is to come. And now let's listen to the hymn, God Himself is with us. You've been listening to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song Program. If you enjoy listening to our programming, we'd like to hear from you. Write to us at eBibleFellowship at Juno.com.